Good morning, reception children. I hope you have had a good morning so far and you are feeling bright and energetic and ready for some phonics learning. So today we are going to be holding a sentence, but before we get on to learning how to do that, we are going to read our nature poem for the day. So it's the yellow tulips, lovely yellow tulips there in the picture. The yellow tulip. For weeks it struggled through the hard crust of this spring earth and a foot of air just to be scorched by the sun, jolted by raindrops, blasted by the wind. But on this gentle May morning, as it opens, yellow petals to the sky, nothing else matters. Lovely, isn't it? Now, I was just saying to the year one children on their video that if you wanted to see more closely what a yellow tulip looks like, you could maybe have a look at the end of this video maybe with your grown up on um, Google, you could write yellow tulip and look at the images and you could have a go at drawing a beautiful green meadow with lots of different flowers and lots of yellow tulips in it um, for me. That would be really, really nice to see. Okay, right, so today we are gonna have a go at some reading some speed sounds, building some words and then making a sentence. You'll need your whiteboard and you will need your pen. You will need your listening ears and you will need your looking eyes. So make sure you've got all of those things and then come back and join me. Okay, so first of all, we are gonna write the speed sounds at the top of our board, okay? I sometimes draw a line to make sure I've got enough, oops, not a line like that, to make sure I've got enough room to write the words underneath. So you know, all the speed sounds have to fit in the top part of that board. Okay, so the first sound I'd like you to have a go at writing is mmm, mmm, for nice or net, mmm, okay, there it is, mmm. The next word is tower, t -t 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 tower down the tower and across the tower. The next sound I'd like you to write is mmm, for mountain, mmm, mountain. Very good. And the next sound is g -g 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 girl. So you start here and you go round, up and down and give her a plat. Round, up and down and give her a plat. N, t, m, g. Next sound I like to write is a. A, a, a. Round the apple up and give it a leaf. And the next one I'd like you to write is uh for umbrella. Uh, 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 umbrella. Uh, 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 umbrella. Well done. Nt, mg, a, a. Then we're going to have e for egg. E, 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 egg. Egg. And then I'd like you to write p, p, p for pirate. P, p, p for pirate. It goes that way. It's always difficult to remember, so you go down, up, and round the pirate's face. And then we're going to write D for dinosaur. So di a dinosaur is going to go towards me, so it's round, up, and down. Round the dinosaur, up, and down to the neck. D -d 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 dinosaur. Next we're going to do snake. Slither down the snake. Always start at the top when you're doing snake. Slither down the snake. Good. And the last one is it, 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 insect. Down the insect and give it a top and give it a head. There we go. Let's check we've got the right ones. Mmm. Say with me. Mmm. T. Mmm. G. A. A. E. P. D. S. I. Well done. If I've gone too fast, do go back and. Um, have some more time to make sure you've got all of those sounds there because you need to have them all correct before we go on to the next word, the, the building of the words. So we've done the sounds, now we're going to use these sounds to put them together to build some words. The first word I'd like you to write is dad. Dad. So we're going to be using d, a, and then d again. Dad. D, a, d. Have a go at doing it on your own. Pause the video if you need a bit more time. D, A, D, and then you can check with me to check it so you've got it right. So it should look like that. Very good. 
Right, the next word is mum. So we're going to be using mm, a, mm, mum, mm, a, mm, two long mm's and then a short jumping sound in the middle. Mm, a, mm, mum. Well done. The next word I like to write is get. So you're going to be using g, 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 find that, find e, eh, and then t for tower. Get. G, e, t. Get. Should look like that. So you've got dad, mum, and get. Very good. Now we're going to have up. So just two sounds, up. So uh, uh, uh for umbrella and p, p, p for pirate. Put them together and it makes up. Up, up, very good. And the next one is sun. S, a, uh, n, sun. Put them together. And it spells sun, s-a-n, sun. Well done. Two more. I'd like you to now write is, is. So for is, we had that in our spellings this week, didn't we? I, 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 s, is. And the last word I'd like you to write is Sam. The name's Sam, so it's s-a-m. Sam. A. M. S. A. M. Sam. Well done. Now, every time you write these, I always try and put a little red word in there as well, which is a word that we can't sound out. It's a tricky word, a word that we aren't. And the word that we're going to be using today, the red word we're going to be using today is the. If you know how to spell the already, can you have a go at writing it? Okay, and you can maybe put a circle around it to show it's different if you don't have a colour, a different coloured whiteboard pen. So write the on your whiteboard now. I'm going to write it in an orange pen to show you that it looks different. So we write the like that. It's t, a h, and an e put together says the. Okay, your board should look like this now. You have the sounds, the individual sounds that we've used at the top to then make and build these words next to it. So the single speed sounds, then the words, and underneath here, we're gonna write our sentence. Now, if you don't have space on your whiteboard, you can turn over and use the other side, that is fine. I will have to do that for the second one. If you have a exercise book or some paper with some lines in it to help your sentence stay straight, pause the video to go and get that now. Okay, right, so the um, first sentence I would like you to write is Mum, get up. Mum, get up. Okay, so I'd like you to use a capital M for mum. So we just do a bigger M when we're doing a capital. So you go up, down, up, down. Okay, when you're doing the capital M, it doesn't the, the the part here doesn't always go all the way down. So if you're doing a little m, mm, do it like that. When you're doing a capital, because it's the beginning of the sentence, this part goes more like that. If you just want to write a big m mm, the way that you normally write it, that's okay. Mum. So find your word mum. Copy that down. Mum. Then you're going to do your finger space and then you're going to use get. Look back, try and see where you've written get. There it is. Copy the word get with a finger space in between. Mum, get. Mum, finger space, get, finger space, up. Find where up is, here it is. Copy it down. Mum, get, up. Okay, mum, get up. What do we have at the end of a sentence? That's right, a full stop. So you should have a sentence there. 
Right, I'm going to tell you some other sentences now, three more. And I want you to pause the video after each one and do exactly the same for these three, okay? The first one I would like you to write is Dad, get up. So now I want you to pause the video and write the sentence Dad, get up using a capital letter for Dad and a full stop at the end and finger spaces in between the words Dad and get and get and up. Off you go. Dad, get up. Well done. Your sentence should look like this. That's the capital D, get up. If you don't know what a capital D is and you've just done a big D, that's okay at this stage. The next word I'd like you to write is, sa sentence I'd like you to write is Sam, get up. Again, look back, find your words, okay? And then put them together to make the sentence, Sam, get up. Pause the video now to write that sentence. Okay, well done. I hope your sentence looked like that. Give yourselves a little tick if you've got finger spaces, a capital letter, and a full stop at the end. Right, the last sentence, you're gonna use the word the, okay? The, I'd like you to write the sentence, the sun is up. The sun is up. The sun is up, four words. Pause the, word, the video now to have a go at writing, the sun is up. Okay, welcome back and your sentence should look like that. Again, if you weren't sure of a capital T and you've just done the normal T for the and it looks like that, that's okay. Because we haven't done lots of um, work yet on what capitals look like, so that's okay. The space sun space is space up and a full stop if you've got all of those things give yourselves a tick okay well done children if you want to have a go at making up one of your own sentences using the words you could do that now too lovely learning well done so tomorrow we won't have a video there will be a uh, lesson for you that i've linked to bbc bite size um, so have a look and see what I've asked you to do. Your grown-up will have been um, emailed the plan for this week. So have a look and see what I've asked you to do for Wednesday. And I will be back on Thursday with another lesson for you like this. Bye, children.